Is it possible to send a customer from your own website or your own web page directly to the checkout on Thinkific and bypass the Thinkific sales page? The answer is yes. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Kim Garnett, founder of Brainy Girl and Brainy Girl U, and we help novice course creators get their courses online and into the hands of their buyers. So this is a great question that I get all the time because there are some design restrictions with Thinkific sales pages. Many of our clients and students want to host their own sales page on their own website or potentially using a uh, landing page builder like lead pages. And they want to bypass the Thinkific sales page and lead customers straight from their sales page to the Thinkific checkout for that course. Now, this is actually a great idea for many reasons. Uh, the very biggest one being that you always want to drive as much traffic directly to your own website as possible. Thinkific is a learning management system, so it's there to manage your courses and host your courses, manage your students, and it does have the ability to have sales pages on it. But if you have the option and you already have a branded website where you can have your sales pages and have full design control and drive all your traffic to your sales page on your website, which is really good for search engine optimization, then that's a great idea. So there's a couple of things to keep in mind. We're gonna jump behind the screen here and I'm gonna take you inside Thinkific to show you how to be able to do this. Okay, so you wanna make sure that your sales page on your website is set up first. So this is my sales page for my uh, training bundle, which is on my WordPress website. So you're seeing this on my WordPress website right now. And I'm gonna scroll down to where I want the call to action button. And you have to do this obviously for all of your call to action buttons. So this one here, get instant access to all training for $27 per month. I need the link that's going to lead to the checkout for this call to action button. So I need to go over to Thinkific and in my case, this is a bundle. So I've gone into the bundle. I'm going to go into pricing. Once you've got your pricing set up in here, you're going to see this copy link. You can simply click on copy link and that's going to copy the checkout link. Now to test this, you can actually go over to an incognito window, put in that URL, and this should take us right to the Thinkific checkout for this particular uh, program or course. And as you can see, it does, it takes us right to the checkout. So we've tested that, which is really important. So again, we're gonna copy uh, where it says pricing, and you've got your pricing set up, you're gonna click on copy link, you're going to go back over to your WordPress website, but this you could also do this in Wix or um, Weebly or any of the any WordPress site or uh, website uh, platform. You could also do this for lead pages or something like that. Um, and you're just going to click on the call to action button here. And yours might look slightly different if you're using a different platform. Uh, you're going to go into the link and the button link URL is where you're going to put in that URL that we just copied from your Thinkific site. And then you're going to save it. Now, obviously, before you do anything, you want to make sure that uh, this works. So once you've done this, you want to save it uh, on your, uh, your sales page on your website. You want to go over to an incognito button uh, window and check that to make sure, obviously, that it works properly before you kind of release it to the world. So that's step one. That's how you get your call to action button for uh, your website sales page that's going to lead over to the checkout for your Thinkific course or bundle. Now, there is a second thing to keep in mind here that most people miss. So what we're going to do is go back over to uh, my Thinkific site here. We're going to go into settings. Again, this could be for a course or a bundle. It's going to look slightly different in either. If it's a bundle, it's going to show SEO, SEO and page code. If, if it is a course, it'll just show page code over here. So you're going to go to the page code section, and this is what we need right here. We need to drop this into the page code, and this piece here needs to be replaced with your uh, sales page URL. And here's why. If on your Thinkific site, 
you have your courses listed somewhere, either on the All Courses page or on the home page of your Thinkific site. If someone clicks on this and you don't have that page code in here, it will not redirect to your sales page on your website. So you need this course card to lead to that sales page. Otherwise, it'll lead to a page that you haven't created, which would be the Thinkific sales page for this course. So you wanna make sure that that page code is added in there. And I will drop a link to get that page code uh, below in the description or in the comments so that you can get that as well. So if this video was helpful for you, I'm going to ask that you give it a thumbs up and you share it out with the people in your network who could use it. And as always, if you need help getting your course online and into the hands of your buyers, click the link in the description below and we'd love to hear from you.